Good morning guys and happy Friday! I'm so excited because today we're going to Venice and this is one of my most favorite places in Italy and the whole world apart from Paris of course and I wanted to take you around and I wanted to do a quick vlog. So last night we had a nice dinner at one of my favorite restaurants in one of my favorite neighborhoods and my partner surprised me with a trip to Venice and we haven't been traveling for such a long time so this trip is so so important for me. It's early in the morning, excuse the lighting guys, I'm just uh, still in my bedroom and I don't have any lights so it's very early in the morning. Uh, last night I was able to pack some things and today this morning it's around 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm gonna quickly pack some beauty and um, a little bit of makeup, uh, a little bit of skincare probably and that's it and the rest if I forget something I'm going to buy it directly from Venice because that's what I usually do and yeah I just wanted to take you around because I think that Venice is one of the most magical places in the whole world so I'm not going to be able I'm not going to be able to film everything because my partner doesn't like me to film and he's not that much into cameras and he really likes to enjoy the holiday without having cameras but I'm definitely going to take one day uh, for myself or at least half a day and I'm going to take you around this magical city so let's go ahead and see and I'm going to show you what I'm packing also for Venice. Okay guys I wanted to show you what I'm packing for Venice and ideally everything should fit in here I'm not sure if it's going to fit probably not so I'm gonna be using this sunscreen today and I'm not packing this for Venice because it's almost finished and I need to repurchase this one but this one is one of my favorite sunscreens it's really the best one and for Venice I am packing this one for both of us because I have a feeling that this one is going to be a good one. I tried it yesterday and really loved it. Then for foundation, I'm packing this one from Chanel, which I normally don't like, I don't use, but I recently purchased another one because I tried a sample. I used to break out from this one, but I'm going to try and see. And basically I rarely use foundation. I'm probably not going to use it, but still I'm packing it because I have it. And concealer I use, and I'm packing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, a little bit of Rose de May water just for refreshment when we are traveling. Then uh, my favorite Hermes blush. This one I really, really love. And then I am packing the Tom Ford Cognac Rose Palette because I love it, the Chantecai Gel Bronzer fragrances. So I'm packing the House of Siash Whispers of Truth because I think that this fragrance is so um, suitable for Venice. It's really, really lovely. It has that fresh vibe, but it has a little bit of caramel. It has a little bit of rose and jasmine and um, it has a citrus opening, which I love. And then I'm packing also Darcy, which is a lovely floral fragrance and it has that rhubarb note, which is amazing. And, um, you know, this is the Lena and Darcy for the evenings. And then for skincare, I'm packing a new serum that I have been testing. This one is from Sisley and it's quite good for a combination skin. So I'm going to be testing this one really, uh, but it's quite light and I like it. And for my partner, I'm getting the Lamar treatment lotion because this one really helps and keeps his skin um, really nice because he has very sensitive skin. So that's why I'm packing this one. I'm packing some um, masks, these are samples, and then some lotion from um, Chanel, which I have as a sample. I love using samples when we are traveling. And yes, I have the House of Siash. Um, this is actually a lip balm here, and this is the Rose Lip Balm, which is my favorite lip balm, and I mainly use lip balms. Um, besides, this lipstick case is really, really good for traveling because somehow it reminds me of Venice. This blue color is amazing. And this is Whispers of Time. And for mascara, I'm just going to be using this sample from Chanel because I don't want to carry a mascara and I'm going to open this now. And then last I have one um, statement Hermes lipstick and this one is going to be for the evenings if I want to feel a little bit more fancy. <laughs> And 
and here we are in the magical city of Venice and my hands of course are a little bit shaky just because I always feel so excited and I always feel so emotional when I'm in Venice. I have a lot of favorite cities around the world, Paris being probably in the first place of course, um, then I have New York City, Los Angeles, Miami, Washington DC in the United States, London, of course, Vienna, these are just a few of my favorite cities that I have a very special connection with these cities. And all of those cities are charming and inimitable in their own way. However, as far as Italy is concerned, it would be hard for anyone who has decided to travel to Italy to find a place that is not exceptional. Italy is probably, if we're talking about countries, it is one of the most magical, the most beautiful countries in the whole world. Yet, even in Italy, there is a very special place that simply takes your breath away and exerts such a power of attraction over you that once you visit it, you remain forever an admirer of that place. And but that place, without doubt, is Venice. I have visited Venice many times, but I decided just to share this memory with you because this city is something that you are not going to see anywhere in the world. This year is very special for Venice, I have to say, because this year, specifically Venetians, celebrate the founding of their glorious city, which took place exactly 1,600 years ago. Venice was founded in 421 AD, you can imagine that very few states or cities in the world can boast of having such a long history, but even more remarkable is the fact that Venice has been preserved so well and once you are in Venice you realize that you are in a kind of a time machine because you're walking on the streets that are basically unchanged for many centuries. And it is worth mentioning that Venice was not only one of the most beautiful cities around the world, but it is also a mighty state. It was also a mighty state that dominated for almost a millennium the Mediterranean region from the 8th century until the, eight, the end of 18th century. Venice always comprised a relatively small area in the northeastern part of Italy, but what is really significant is that Venice was built on more than a hundred small islands. Thus, the power and the influence of Venice were derived from its maritime trade. Venice was an independent republic, the Republic of Venice, for the larger part of its existence. And it was so powerful that even the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire, was conquered by Venice through the Crusaders. In the second half of the 19th century, Venice became part of Italy and up to this date, Venice remains an Italian city. And the Pearl of Italy, in my humble opinion. Venice is a real treasure for the whole humanity because of its uniqueness and splendor. Unfortunately, the maintenance of such a dazzling city requires a lot of money and effort, and probably that is the reason why Venice is not in a perfect condition, as you can probably see from the buildings. But even the dilapidated buildings in Venice do not take away a smidgen from the Venetian grandeur and beauty. Venice, by the way, is so important to the world not only because of its splendor, but also because of its gigantic contributions to the evolution of mankind, both spiritual and technological. Venice was not only one of the most powerful naval and international trade powers in the world, Venice had become in the past one of the most developed financial centers in the world. So the financial industry of today owes a lot to Venice with respect to the practices and the rules devised by the old Venetians. Venetians were not only among the best traders and financials though, because they developed some crafts which never cease to amaze us. For instance, every collector of fine arts is well aware that it is a must to possess in their collection some specimen of Venetian glass produced in Venice, of course. 
The classical music would never be the same without the compositions of Antonio Vivaldi. Some of the greatest paintings were made by Venetian painters as well, so Venice has given a lot to the world. Now let's take a moment and admire this magical city. Every time when I come here, it is as if I'm here for the very first time. And if there was one place that I could recommend to go in Europe for the first time, like if you could only pick one place to visit in Europe, I would definitely say go to Venice. You're never going to regret that decision. And if you think Paris is a romantic destination, wait until you see Venice. I'm not even going to mention the food and also the Venetian hospitality. And if you want to spice up your romantic experience in Venice, don't forget to visit Jolly Roger. You're going to see the boat right at the end. I'm going to zoom in now so that you can see it better. So that's a real dining experience on a pirate's boat. And let's say buon appetito to our fabulous pirates and until next time don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from Venice.